I've got no time to lose. I must convince the Patriarch to help Hans. Um, good evening, sir. My name is Kate Walker, and you are... Sorry, I... Oh. This monk's taken a vow of silence. He won't speak to me. Nothing I can do. It's locked. This is really amazing work all the same. Whiling away those celibate hours. Hello? Anybody there? Uh, excuse me. What? A woman? Women are expressly prohibited. What the devil are you doing here, woman? My name's Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from New York. Excuse me, but I absolutely must speak to you, and your monks wouldn't let me in. Miss Walker, your female presence in this dwelling of monastic retreat is unwelcome. It is very... troubling. Please leave quickly. I have a friend who is really sick. In the village, I was told that... We must all brave the ordeals the Lord sends us, my child. Please forgive my slightly cavalier methods to get to see you, Father. But my cause is just, I assure you. I have no need of assurance, my girl. Remember, you are here beneath the gaze of the Almighty. I have come to ask the assistance of the priest healer in the monastery. My friend is very unwell and very old. Sometimes a body weary of life refuses treatment. That is why we here tend to the soul. From what element is your friend suffering? A high fever. It started with a kind of fit. He felt... Sometimes we have to just accept the inevitable, my child, and resign ourselves to the call of time. My friend is named Hans Vorlberg. He has devoted his life to making fantastic mechanical machines. His automaton soothed the harsh daily labor of the people of his day, and amused them, entertained them. He's a genius inventor, you know. Hmm. An inventor, you say? The inspiration of such people is often cowed to humility before the marvels of God's own creation. You don't understand. Maybe Hans is old and frail, but he has but one desire, to continue his journey. We have to learn how to meet our fate, my child. This is God's will. My friend needs treatment. You are the only one for miles around who can give him the care he needs. I need a sign 
from the Almighty, or else I can do nothing for your friend. I am sorry, Miss Walker. I really need your help, Father. You're our only hope. My girl, I attend only to extreme cases, grave illness, and madness. But this is an extreme case, Father. There is a rule, Miss Walker. You must respect it. Bring me the imprint of your friend's suffering. I know what you were telling me. I brought the shroud. Show me, my child. Right. We will go search for your friend. It's our man. He's got some. Canton? I can barely hear you. What news have you got? I, I talked to the hotel guys, Mr. Marson. She checked out of Arrowbad last week. Headed off with Hans Vorlberg. How is she? Seems her health is fine, Mr. Marson, but, uh... What? Her behavior seems... Don't beat about the bush, Canton, please. Look, Mr. Marson, it's like this. I'm afraid that Miss Walker has been acting... Well, how do you say it? Differently. Did you sleep well, my child? Yes, yes, thank you. How is Hans? Alas, you brought him to us so late, my child. I fear we cannot do much. We are going to concentrate on tending to his soul. What? What did you say? The man is worn and old. His final hour is upon him. But that's impossible. Your friend is dying. You must believe me, my child. No, it just isn't possible. Hans Varlberg can't fail. Not like that. He's dreamed of reaching Siberia. It's just not fair. Men run after Chimera their whole lives, my child. But God detests dreamers and their utopian pies in the sky. Please take care of Hans, Father, please. Torment yourself no longer, my girl. I will tend to the poor soul. Can I see him? No. I do not advise it. Deranged minds are often too addled by evil, and you could become contaminated by its sly malevolence. Look, contagion doesn't bother me. I've got to talk with him, you understand? The rules, Miss Walker. Remember the rules. No one talks to the sick. I just can't abandon Hans like that. I must see him immediately, you hear? Okay. So be it. Your friend is in the last chamber at the end of the corridor. I beseech thee, my girl. Pay no heed to the imprecations of a sick, delirious, dying man. I will wait for you in the chapel when everything is over, for the formalities you understand. I'm still at the monastery, Oscar. And have the monks cured, Mr. Farrellberg? Not really. Too much religion and not enough science. We can't give up hope on Mr. Farrellberg, Kate Walker. Count on me. Catch you later.
Hans? Hans, can you hear me? Kate, where are we? Don't you worry. You're in very good hands. Hans, we're at the monastery. Do you remember? In Valadilen, it is 7.15 p.m. Father is always punctual. He never stays at home. He always goes to the factory. He locks himself in his office and... No, Hans. Valadilen is where you were born. Here, we're in Romansburg. Valadilen is miles away. We're going to take care of you. Alexei. Find Alexei Tukianov. Alexei Tukianov? Alexei. He has lived with the Yukals. He can cure me. I brought you here to be treated. We don't have the time, Kate. We've got... We've got to go to Siberia, Kate. <laughs> Calm down, Hans, please. No! No! <laughs> we cannot carry on our journey in these conditions, Hans. You are ill. You have to be cared for. I... I must go, Kate Walker. I said I'd keep you company until we reach Siberia. Who is Alexei? An old monk. A friend. He knows about you call medicine. Why do you want me to find this monk, Alexei? Alexei... He can treat me. Hans, do try to be reasonable. Nobody here can treat you better than the old patriarch. Alexei knows you call medicine. The old patriarch is an ass! <laughs> so you really think this monk can cure you? Alexei can cure like the shaman. Shaman are the right doctors for me. <coughs> it seems you rate the Yukuls for their medicine. Yukul shaman medicine is very strong. Hans, all that shaman malarkey is nonsense. You know that. The Yukuls know a lot of things, Kate Walker. A lot of things. I'll be back soon. Okay, Kate. You like to eavesdrop. Eavesdrop? No. I clean and clean. That's all. I've just spoken to Hans. <laughs> and what news do you bring my sister? Um, he spoke to me of one of your brothers, named Alexei. Ah, Tempus Edax Rerum. <laughs> Brother Alexei is not of this world, my sister. So you don't know this Alexei, do you? No, no. <laughs> Omnis homo mendax. <laughs> I've been told about an indigenous people called the Yukos. You wouldn't know of them. Ajigwadajis. <laughs> <laughs> Have you lived in the monastery for a long time? Oh, yes. For a very long time. <laughs> You must know all the monks who live there. Uh, yes, I think so, my sister. Must know, yes. <laughs> my friend is very ill, and he told me to find a monk who would care for him. It is not I, that monk. I am no healer. I am but a humble servant of the monastery who tends to the brother's laundry. Can you help me find this monk? Oh! The Patriarch would be furious. Furious! <laughs> I must finish my chores. Where could this monk named Alexei be hiding? Felix Hippotuit Rerum Cognoscere Corsus. <laughs> Come on, you must know where Alexei is. <laughs> Mors Ultima Ratio. <laughs>
Hello, father. Hello, my child. You really can't do anything for Hans? His destiny is not in mortal hands. We must pray, dear girl, pray for his redemption. But Hans has no reason to repent. His fever-driven outpourings are not those of a holy man. Oh, far from it. Hans Varlberg is not a sinner. The pagan fantasies with which he sullies the air in his delirium are those of a heretic. Pray, female, pray to save your friend from the sizzling fires of hell. You, you're a total crackpot. You're a fanatic. I will talk to Hans, you hear? We absolutely must continue our journey. We must. Don't even think about it, child. Mr. Vorlberg is in no fit state. Hans Vorlberg is going to see his dream come true. You hear me? Wretched girl. His dreams are almost at an end and there is nothing you can do. I talked to Hans. Yes. He seems better. It is but an illusion, my girl. His mortality is teetering on the brink. I know about these things. He told me about a monk who could help him. And what monk might that be, Miss Walker? A monk who has spent long years with the Yukols, that mysterious tribe from the far north. Uh, your friend is clearly very sick, my poor child. Father, do you know a man named Alexei Tukianov? He was a heretic and charlatan. He is not worth the breath, my girl. It seems Hans Varlberg considers him highly. Your friend must have lost his marbles. But could I just meet the man anyway? No. Alexei Tukianov has left us. A long time ago, Miss Walker. Excuse my insistence, Father. But where might I be able to find Alexei Tukianov? It's very important. Alexei Tukianov is dead, my girl. May his soul rest in peace. May his soul rest in peace! Hans often told me about the mysterious people of the far north, the Yukels. They are degenerate heathen savages that worship idols and false gods and resist the redemption of the Lord. Hans lived among them for a long time. They're like a second family to him. Please, dear girl, do not let yourself succumb to the quaint temptations of those pagans. Their only ambition is to wallow in their so-called primitive paradise and all its lechery and bestiality. Remember that those who live far from God doom themselves to eternal chastisement. Okay, I think I've heard all I need. I'm off. Go, my child. But weigh the consequences of your actions well. <sighs> It gives me the creeps. Whiling away those celibate hours. I fear the worst. I hope they're not thinking of putting Hans in there. What on earth is that?
No point doing that. I wouldn't dare interrupt the meditation of a monk, whiling away those celibate hours. Can't abandon haunts. Hello, father. Hello, my child. I don't think Hans is delusional when he tells me that this mysterious monk can help him. He's very lucid. 
please, dear girl, lend no credence to the rantings of a dying sinner. It is clear the man is inventing nonsense tales in the vain hope of remission. I don't care who the Yukels are or what they worship, but I believe I can help Hans to reach his dream. That's all that counts for me. I pray to the Lord that that hell-fed tribe have been wiped out. In our land, alcohol and the pox are the tools the Almighty wields to purge himself of his anger and rid us of the depraved. Okay, I think I've heard all I need. I'm off. Go, my child. But weigh the consequences of your actions well. <sighs> Hans? Hmm? Han? Father? Han? Your brothers? Hans? Siberia? Han? Alexei can cure like the shaman. Shaman are the right doctors for me. <coughs> Hans? Alexei is a friend. He'll look after Hans. Cheese and dry bread. Yummy.
<clears throat> Enough smoke for one day. How's it going? Kate, okay. Yes. What am I doing here? <sighs> it's a long story. Are we going yet? Can you walk? <clears throat> I'd like to, but... Don't move, Hans. I'm going to find a way to get us out of here. Good day to you, Father. You must leave your friend now. We're going to take him away. Father, I have found a trace of the monk Alexei Tukianov. By the saints above us, did you not heed my warnings? He is a heretic, I tell you. He is damned! Damned! Hey, just because he's interested in Yukol customs doesn't make him a criminal. Yukols are a degenerate mongrel race. Emissaries of the devil! Do you hear me, poor fallen female? And you are just a woman. God forbid! <laughs> You're laying it on a bit thick there, Father. I've come to tell you we're leaving your monastery. I prohibit you. You hear? What? But... Hans is cured now. There's no reason to hang around. He is not cured. It is an illusion of the devil. You have corrupted his soul, female, with your heathen hogwash. It is out of the question that Hans Vorarlberg leave this monastery. I'll tell you again, Father. Hans Vorarlberg and I are going to continue our journey. Together. Hans Vorarlberg is going no further, Miss Walker. Just what do you mean by Hans Vorarlberg is going no further? Your friend is dying, my child. I have followed Hans's instructions, and I have managed to treat him. What? You... you dared? Don't worry, he's feeling much better. Here, in this monastery? But that is blasphemy, Miss Walker. You have to account for this before God. I warn you, I will not leave this place without Hans. War all you like, Miss Walker. Hans Vorlberg will only be leaving here in a box. We'll just see about that, Father. Father, I... Miss? Be reasonable, Father. We have to leave. Vade retro! Fallen female, and never speak to me again, you hear? I warn you, Wa we'll just... Father... Miss? You mean you refuse to let us leave the monastery? Nobody's holding you back, female. Nobody. But as for your friend, he's staying here. We have a holy mission to purify his soul before he bears it before God. This monastery will be his final resting place. No, I will not abandon Hans to your loony clutches, you fanatic. We are leaving here together with or without your blessing. I warn you, I will not leave this place without Hans. War all you like, Miss Walker. Hans Vorlberg will only be leaving here in a box. We'll just see about that, Father. The master of the house doesn't seem to want to let me through. <laughs> That's ridiculous! Unbelievable. What, Kate Walker? The Patriarch refuses to let you leave the monastery. We've got to go to Siberia, Kate Walker. Don't you worry. I'm going to find a way for us to escape.
Oscar, uh, we've had a little hitch. Mr. Forelberg has suffered a relapse? No. Hans is shaping up. The Patriarch of the Monastery is proving tricky, though. He's got it in his head to save Hans's soul. Metaphysics and water sports are alien to me, Kate Walker. Think of it as some kind of backup system for when the mechanics break down. Put your faith in mechanics, Kate Walker. Always. <sighs> Whatever, we're still stuck here. Kind of prisoners. I've got to find a way of parting company with these monks. I shall be waiting for you, Kate Walker. Thanks, Oscar. Hmm, it's kind of steep, but with the sled, I could slide down the slope. What, Kate Walker? Let's go. Yes, Kate Walker. We must be quick. No! Do not go! No! You must stay! Stop them! 